Um, hi everybody. So in this video, I'm just going to show you uh, my workflow for uh, multi-story building. Um, currently at school, I have to design a mixed-use tower. So apartment, offices, retail, and uh, special functions, which in my case is a doggy daycare. Uh, so I've been asked um, about how I approach uh, designing a multi-story and then how I manage the different um, concepts, like for each floor plate. So, okay, so of course using ArchiCAD and um, how I do it, I usually use two files. Uh, one, which I call my main file, which will have a uh, all the, the contour, uh, context building, and where my um, big tower will be. And then another file, uh, which is only for modules. And in the modules, uh, I'll show you later on, is where I have all the different floor plates. And so I, I will do the modules in separate file, and then when they're ready, they'll just bring them over into the main file. Um, Doing it this way just um, make it easier to see the changes for each floor plates because you don't need to uh, copy and paste um, the floor plate again on a different story to see how it looks. You can just change the module file and then update in your main file. Um, it will just make sense and so I'm just going to show you quickly. So first, um, save this one as um, your main file. So we're going to call it main um, file. Save it as a PLN. And then you're going to make another file. Open or oh, make new. And make sure that you launch a new instance because we want both of the those files uh, open at the same time. Um, okay. Make sure that you have a computer that can handle um, two instances of ArchiCAD. That'd be really helpful. Okay, so now we're going to save that as a um, save as as a mod mod module file. That's the one that we want, and we're going to call it uh, modules. Just press OK. So how it works is usually on my module file, I will create different stories, and each story will be. Um, a floor plate concept. Um, so let's create more flow first. And let's say in our design we would have uh, some apartments. Apartment A. Oops. Uh, instead of above, just create multiple stories. B, C. So all those story will be a different concept. Retail, office. Okay, press OK. So now you can see they're all here. So let's go to apartment A and. We're going to just make it super easy because I just want to show you the link between the two files. Uh, let's say floor plate 5000 by 5000. And I'm going to make some walls. And just check. Um, yep. If you press F5, you go in 3D view. So let's say that's like one typical floor. And we're just going to add maybe some walls in between, something. And maybe a door. 
Okay, let's say that's apartment A. And we're going to set that. So you just press Control S and then save. Now you go back to your main file and you're in your ground floor. And here again, you're just going to create some some more stories and now we're going to bring in the module that we just created so you go into file external content place hotlink module choose hotlink new hotlink from file and now you're just going to go to your file so high tutorial and click on modules press select and you can see here it will give you a list of all the story in that file so what we want we just want to select apartment a press ok ok and here there's something important that you need to do in the previous file uh, where is it module file if you look at the story setting um, it's 2 point, uh, 2450 um, and when you click on the walls they have a settings where the home story so it's apartment A it will the wall height will stretch to apartment B which is the level above um, you could not link them but this is a way for Akika to um, auto automatically stretch the walls depending on your wall height, uh, your story height. Um, for example, if I were to go into design story setting and here I change to let's say 3.5, press OK, and you click on the wall again, you can see here at the top that it's stretched to the upper level and the height changed. I'm just going to put it back to and so what is important because when you bring into another file as a module here you can select it to not stretch to the to the story setting of the main file so if we save it as a 2.4 when we're going to bring it and if we click this it will use the original height which is 2.4 so click on that make sure place hot link and so now we get our, our apartment in the main file oops where is it zoom in so we get our apartment and now you can save so now let's go back to our module file let's say apartment a actually i didn't want the door there i'll select that Oh, I would add something. Let's say add another door here. And I save it again. And then I go back into my main file, which is this. If I go into Excel Content Hotlink Manager, you would see here that uh, there's a little um, exclamation sign, which is mean that it's been modified. And you can click on it and update. Press OK. And now you can see. You got a little door. So every change that you make, do it in the module file. Because normally in a high rise, you would have that same floor plate duplicated on uh, all the levels. So, for example, I could go into. Oh, it's on story seven, but let's say I want it on ground floor as well. I'm going to go insert content, place module. Um, choose hot link click this one because that's the one that I imported already place it and so it's here as well if you go into F5 you can see there's one on the ground floor and this one's on the seventh story okay so let's say I didn't really like it that much or I want to do some more test so I will go back into my module and because I don't want to I want to keep that so I'm just going to go into apartment B or maybe apartment A I'm going to select everything 
copy, control C, going to upper level, control V. So I'll have this one and let's say I'm just gonna delete those walls. So that'll be my second design. Save that. And I go back into the main file. And now I wanna change this so that all of them look like apartment B. I'm just click that. I uh, think it's um, setting. We can change the hot link. New hot link. Modules. And this time, instead of choosing apartment A, you select apartment B. Press OK. 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 So now it's been changed to apartment B. If we go to apartment 7, it's still the same as before. So if you want to change everything, what you can do is, um, let's say we copy this one on, on the roof level as well. So we have two that are like apartment A, and we want them to be apartment something else. So let's say we go back to the module file. We do apartment C. And apartment C, I'm going to add a, a window onto it. Uh, let's see, window here, window there, there. So that's how it looks like. And, and as you can see in, in the module file, everything is stacked on top of each other. So it helps you to reference and make sure that everything's lined up. Okay, I'm just going to save that. And I'm going back to my main file. And now I want to, let's say, all the apartment A design to be turned to apartment C. So I'm just going to go Hotlink Manager. And I'm going to relink this one, the apartment A. Oops, no, it's this one. Click on this, change Hotlink from File, Modules, and select apartment C update okay so now every instances of apartment a will transform into apartment c so on level eight and on the level seven as you can see in 3d both of them get the windows so usually that that's how it goes you you would make your your different floor plates on a separate file and then bring them into uh, the main file. Uh, this will keep everything tidy and I'll just make your bigger file smaller and you can preview uh, your new design faster. You just because what I used to do is to do everything on the main file so I would I would just copy paste everything on the same on the each story and then well let's say i'm working on level three and i change the design i just have to go on all the levels and change it manually as well and usually when you do that you tend to make tiny mistakes like you, maybe you move the wall 50 millimeters off but then you don't see straight away but then when you publish everything and you scroll on the pdf you can see the image changing because things don't line up so that's why it's always better to to work with a, a module. Um, what I'm going to show you now is the the file that I'm working on at the moment. Um, so like that's a, a tower that I'm designing at the moment. As you can see, there's like um, a floor for my retail area and those are my apartments and all of them have different modules. Um, let me see. Open Master 5. Save. Uh, my file are not particularly um, uh, well organized. They're actually quite messy because I'm at really at the concept stage and really want to go super fast in the development of my um, 
sketch uh, design. So let's go into 3D view. So that's the tower that I'm designing. And as you can see, when you when you click like that, and if you see as a group, it means a module. And you can see in the little info box, um, it comes from a file called new facade. But it doesn't tell you exactly which apartment from from which it was. Um, okay, let's go to the ground. Oops, not ground floor, maybe podium or L5. So this is one module and I can't edit. I can move it, but I can't move to different place because they're not from that far. Um, but I will show you my uh, module file. It's a bit messy, <laughs> really messy because uh, I don't want to create separate files for each version of my floor plate. And it's mostly because I want to be sure that everything lines up. Okay, as you can see, I have like a 43 type of floor plate that I went through. So let's see. And well, uh, as you can see, the naming wasn't really um, appropriate. Uh, 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 as an advisor, just make sure that you rename it correctly because otherwise just getting too um, hard to find which one you worked on. So that was one of the floor plates. And doing like this helps because you can use the show references. So you well, doesn't see properly here, but uh, let's say in this one, you could see where things are and you can tell if the columns are in the right position and how your new design relate to your old ones. So uh, I think that's it. I think maybe later on I'll, I, I might do a video of me working on my file exactly, just to show you uh, the process of me doing it on a proper design. Okay, well, uh, that's it for now. See ya.